In the wintertime, have you ever noticed the narrow vertical stripes on a roof or the side of a home? What you're seeing there are called frost stripes, or sometimes called frost ghosting. And it's the visual effects of heat loss from a home or a building. It's nature's thermal image. You may have seen some houses have frost collect or show up in very narrow vertical rows where the roof rafters lay right below it. Some houses have frost lines appear where frost collected in wider vertical strips, like on porches or overhangs. Others have the stripes appear vertically along the home siding where wall studs are. What you're witnessing here is called thermal bridging. If you've been around the construction industry, you probably know the term thermal bridging, also known as cold bridges or heat bridges. Thermal bridging is a result of conductive materials that allow heat to bypass insulation. In standard construction, these conductive materials include wood in the form of studs, top plates, headers, rafters, or basically any material other than insulation that connects the inside to the outside of the home. Again, a thermal bridge is a gap in the insulation that forms the thermal envelope of the structure. The problem with standard framing is that wood has an R value of about 1.4 per inch. In standard 2x4 construction, that means that every 16 inches on center, you have a thermal bridge of about 1.5 inches where heat can bypass the insulation and conduct through the wood rapidly. Building with SIPs forms a continuous barrier with very limited thermal bridging from studs. In addition, the seams are minimized because, unlike 4x8 sheathing, the OSB covered SIPs are up to 8 feet wide and they run the entire height of the wall. The window and door openings are precisionally cut at the factory based on the architect's specifications. And during installation, each seam is filled with a caulk and sealed with tape. Heat escaping from a building follows the path of least resistance. Thermal bridging occurs when there is a break or penetration in that insulation. Thermal bridges can be caused by the junctions between the wall and the floor or the junctions between the wall and the roof, holes in the building envelope where pipes and cables go, window or door reveals, steel wall ties with masonry construction in steel wall construction buildings, SIPs do a far superior job in reducing thermal bridging compared to traditional stick frame buildings. For example, intercept SIPs almost completely eliminate thermal bridging or uninterrupted areas of the panel. Walls of typical stick framing do not have insulated sheathing and thermal bridging reduction factors are often calculated at about 25% of the total wall area. And that's a lot of thermal bridging. SIPs have only about 3 to 5%. Thermal bridging not only creates areas of heat loss, it can be a prime area for mold or wood rot due to condensation. When warm air from inside the house escapes through these bypasses, moisture condenses on the studs or rafters, and that's where the frost forms. When the outside temperature rises again and the frost thaws, it creates an environment where water can collect and cause mold. SIPs have several unique properties. And one very important property is that they are much more airtight and condensation is virtually eliminated. It's well known that SIPs outperform stick construction in the whole wall R values, taking into account the entire wall assembly, including heat transfer through the structural members at the corners and other junctions and around windows, which creates a high performance building envelope. In the passive house and zero energy industry, where energy efficiency, comfort, and clean air are the main goals. Intercept SIPs are an excellent building solution. Intercept structural insulated roof and wall panels are one possible solution for the concerned homeowners or builder looking to minimize thermal bridging and improve overall energy performance.